Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. And today we will be we will not be looking at any figures or gunpla, but what I'm about to show you guys is how to keep your boxes in a more um proper way. What I'm trying to say is that have you ever like wondered like all these boxes, um figure boxes, I mean, that comes with all these very nice and cool the box art and you want to keep it but then if you keep it there it will be it will be hogging a lot of space so on and so forth and what if i told you that there's actually a way where you can uh post with the box post with the box like right in front of you here the sun the goku super saiyan 3 along with the figure together so yeah if you are interested continue to watch on this video and i'll show you guys how it's done so of course one more thing that um, everyone always have the common question is have you ever like once you have removed all the runners from the the gumpla for it and what to do with all the plastic will you either throw it throw it would be a little bit wasted and not in a green behavior in a way of recycling but what if i told you guys you can use that plastic in for the gumpla wrappers and use it on along with this boxes that i'm about to show you for the figure so of course finally now um i'm going to sh tell you guys what are the things that you will need in completing these things that i will show you so the very first thing that you will need of course is the main figure that you want it to pose with which of course most of the time are fixed and then next you have the box that you want to use it as of here of course is the super saiyan 3 box then next here, like I mentioned just now, is the Gunpla plastic wrapper, sort of like that. And next you need, of course, scissors. And then next here you need like all this this um pen knife. Um you can get at Daiso. My country is five ringgit, so at your country maybe it's around the one dollar store. And of course this is from Daiso as well, the super glue or elephant glue if you guys call it. And of course finally you will need the cellophane tape so yeah without further ado now now let's on how to do it so the very first part that you would want to do is first this box here this um, normal bun presto box what you want is open it out first then what you want to do is you want to flatten the inside here so what you i would recommend using um this the knife here you can get at taiso at um, cheap price at my country is five ringgit, so I think in the US would be a dollar shop. What that's what they call it. This basically they sell all the Japanese stuff at uh, at basically at five dollars or one dollar like you call it. So yeah, let me just trim this out down and then I'll get back to you guys. So when it's done, here's one side is open. It's not really tidy, but you can always clean it later. You just need to cut open down here. So yeah, it should look something like this. So for me, um, actually this front part is the one that I want to keep in this plate. So that's why at the side here, I want to remove it. So it depends on you guys. If you guys want this to be the main frame, then yeah, of course you guys can keep this part as well. But I would recommend the back part is the one that you should remove. Um, I will explain it later why so yeah now let me just um, cut the bottom here then again I'll get back to you guys real soon so yeah basically right now the whole thing open it looks like that and then at the this is how it looks like when all the parts are open out so what you want to do now is you want to find the base here the perfect base for your figure um, right now here of course i have the super saiyan 3 son goku okay so this part is slightly larger so let me move up the face so this how it will looks like as of right now this this is more of like a planning stage so yeah anyway let's focus down here again as you guys can see it can't really fit the whole thing so depending on your pose you might want to adjust so that it would fit it will fit it what i would what i would do next i think this should be enough this part here although this part shows a little bit but that doesn't really matter 
so yeah now I got the post that I wanted so this again I'll put it aside so now the thing that I would do I will cut open this part first so yeah so yeah now you look it will look something like that um, if you guys feels like um, this a bit wasted and you don't want to throw it you guys can stick it here which I'm gonna do or you guys maybe can keep it and put somewhere else so this is how it looks like so yeah let me just glue again and then I'll get back to you guys but first before I glue this thing I might as well readjust the base again and see once I've glued the base then I'll only glue the back part of it so yeah basically this is how it will looks like at the base here right now but let me open up a sort of a little bit space here so yeah that's it now what you need now is this super glue again i bought this at Taiso. This, however this you have the colored one is not the transparent one so it doesn't really matter so yeah now let me remove this so now that is put aside already so here what you want to do up here you basically want to just put over the glue here you do not want to put the whole thing because as you guys can see the not all of it is covered so just put a little bit here and then what you want is just put here so yeah next just push down um, this actually dries up fairly quickly so you guys don't have to worry about it and because the surface um, below is the smooth surface instead of this um, soft like a rough paper surface so yeah you guys would want to be a little bit more careful and as you guys can see here, it's sort of like um, a bit smudged out already. So yeah, that's one part again you guys would need to be a little bit more careful. Not like me. Anyway, I'll just leave here for a while. So while I'm doing that, now this part here, just a fairly quickly one. What you need to do is just here like that. So yeah, basically, this is the pattern that Huh, not really a pattern but yeah the glue passage so I do not want to waste it so instead I'll just glue it here readjust it and it should fix in just a few time so let me reconfirm the position of the placing I want for the Super Saiyan uh, move out a little bit okay so yeah basically this is it that I want it to be let me just move up again so basically this is the position that I want it to be so yeah I just put it here and then now I'll move on to the other side to put on the glue you guys can see here here just put slide here so next here just put on So again, as you guys can see, the glue is coming out due to my not so artistic experience. So what I need is take the take this tissue here and clean it. I mean, basically, actually, you don't really um, need to clean because you will be putting in there to prevent the dust from coming in. But yeah, just clean it to make it more tidy. So next one, just need this to move up. There is some glue came out at the bottom. What I'm doing now is just sort of like a touch up job. So yeah, basically the base is more or less complete. Now here, I think even I think even the base for the Super Saiyan 3 is there but anyway now here's here's the reason why I'm sorry um, let me just show you guys here so here's the reason why I said that this part you should make it as like the main frame here this is so it will cover up like that it will easy looks amazing sort of like a shrine for him 
So now I got the position that I want. It's it should look like that. You would want the top cover here not to touch the hair here. I've made I've made another one previously, the um Super Saiyan one. The hair was actually touching off the box, so I did not do that very well. But however, now this one it fits perfectly, so that's good to see. This one is fairly simple. Um, this glue part, all you need to do is put slide inside here a bit. You do not want it to, you do not want it too much over at the edge because you scared that it will touch on the um, Super Saiyan Three Goku's hair. Then it will not look nice anymore with the blue color there. So yeah, it should look something like that. This is like um the most basic way I can show you guys. If you guys are better, of course you guys can custom make your one. So now it's done. You just um, let it chill aside a while. Let it get onto the ship. I'll remove the figure first. So next here, this this is just excess part. Let me throw it. So next here, we of course here. This is the gunpla plastic. Once you remove all the parts, then you will get this. So this one. Let me just move it at the back here. And then now this plastic, what you want to do is you want to cut open this part here. You just want to cut open here fairly quickly, fairly quickly one. So basically, this is how it looks like. I've basically what I did was just split these two. This part maybe you can keep, or if you think that it doesn't really fit nicely, then you can throw it away or whatever. But I'll keep that one because it's still a really large piece. So what you want to do is just like adjust here to see how. And then what you would need is just basically a cellophane tape later on to tape it. This I think is a little bit too short. So anyway, you will need to put this back on here already. Then now let me just hold up here. So yeah, now the figure what you want you just put inside here slowly so yeah I think um, this plastic it's a little bit shorter so it should fit like that I think it still can do it so let's just try so now of course what you need is the cellophane tape here right here like that and then next one you want is the side here to close up because you the last thing you want is the dust to come in so a second so a second tape here like that because usually the dust enters is the top there the easiest so you want to cover the top part there so next one here the side the side it's it should be fairly easy the side there all you need to do is just do the remaining touch up work and then next the lower part there is a little bit tricky what you need to do is just soft like an estimate so let me just lower down this part here because the figure is already on top so it's a little bit tricky because you don't want the glue to come off so what you need is just stick here. Uh, blah, blah. I still need one more tape. 
at the other side. So, yeah. That's it. This is something how it should look like. Like that. Of course, the first thing you would need to do is find the pose that you want. So you guys can see here like that. Here is the other side. And then here is the back of it. And then here is on the other side. And then back on the front. So yeah, basically, um, this tutorial is just like that. What is this? Because um, I just want to refrain the dust from coming in. I don't want to keep on cleaning. You know, sometimes if you clean too much, then you will wipe off the paint. Then it won't be, it won't look good anymore. So yeah, let me just um, show you guys where I'll be putting it and why I come up with this idea. So yeah, basically as you guys can see, um, where I put my figures right now is an open, sort of like an open shelf thing. So that's why um, dust is definitely inevitable. So yeah, that's why I came up with this idea because uh, I don't keep on cleaning like I mentioned previously just now. So yeah, here's the, here's the other three Goku figures that I own. The Super Saiyan 1, 2 and 3 all together right in front there. So yeah, it looks pretty good. As of now, I will be getting more Goku figures or One Piece figure in the future. So yeah, stay tuned to that. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to drop a like down below. And if you guys have any comment that um, you guys maybe want to ask or mention anything, please um, don't forget to drop it down below in the comment section as well. And finally, if you guys haven't subscribed to me, please don't forget to subscribe to me because there will be more of um, this kind of videos do it yourself kind of things and of course none other than gunpla related stuff and of course some uh, figure stuff um, in the future uh, more or less around there so yeah until then i'll see you guys soon in another video and i hope you guys have a good day ahead maybe trying this method so yeah till then